Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com In this video we are going to look at how to insert a picture from your directory using Excel VBA and we would like this picture to be inserted on the change of a cell value but the stuff I talk about in this tutorial can easily be adapted so if you want to insert a picture on the, the click of a command button, or if you want to insert multiple pictures, it's just a case of putting what I talk about within a loop. So let's get on with it. I simply have a drop down list in A2 of banana and strawberry. Nothing too glamorous right now, but if I choose strawberry, you see that picture is inserted and the row is automatically resized to accept that picture. Now in your examples you may not need to do that, your pictures may all be the same size in which case you can sort your uh, column width and row height out uh, ahead of time. I want to make sure that we cover how to do it in case it's not though, which may be the situation. And you can see it's adapting as I choose it from a drop down list. So let's have a look at the code, developer tab, visual basic. And this is on sheet two. So I'll open up that project and have a look at the code window. And in here we have the worksheet change event. Uh, I'll put a link to our Excel VBA course in the description of this video. So if any of this doesn't make too much sense, make sure you sign up for that course so you can get up to speed with VBA quickly. But what I've got here is a couple of variables. I've got one to act as a picture, one using a picture type, and I've also got the string data type, uh, picture lock location. Uh, here's me testing the target address. So in the worksheet change event, uh, target is the name of the range that was changed. So I say, oh, if the address of the cell changed is the same address as A2, which is the cell with that banana strawberry drop down list, then do this stuff. Obviously, otherwise, don't worry about it. Now, I've got the active sheet pictures delete. If there's any current pictures on that sheet, get rid of them. <laughs> this is going to replace them. Don't insert it on top of the other one. Get rid of the other one first. Then I'm assigning to the picture lock variable the address of the picture. Now, in that, we uh, close this down for one second. Uh, in cell A2, the words I've got in that drop down list of A2 is a direct match for the name of use for the picture. If I just switch my directory, this is where they're coming from. These two pictures here, banana, strawberry. The name of the pictures is matching the name of my cell value in this example. And these are just simply in an images folder on my desktop. And if I go back to Excel right now, here you can see it back in my Visual Basic, DNA2, the path to the images folder, the value in A2, and then tag on the end PNG. These are both that picture format. I then have the width uh, kind of structure. So for range B2, I initially set the picture variable. It's an object variable, so I need the word set, keyword set. And here I've got how you insert pictures. It's on the sheet layer, pictures just like up above, and an insert, and within there, the path that I assigned a few moments ago. And then I've just got a few lines positioning and sizing the picture. So that next line there is the important one that actually sorts out the height of the row, make sure that's the same as the picture. And then the next ones are just positioning it in the top left hand corner of that cell make sure it inserts in the same position so get the height right but then put it in that cell or the appearance that is in that cell so this is the code necessary to insert pictures from a directory here we're using it on the worksheet change event but you can put it in a normal sub procedure or whatever you need and then just tweak the code to adapt do you know the file path how do you know the name do you need to resize rows, etc., etc.? I will put this code. I'll make this accessible in the description of the video as well. 
Uh, so you can just pop in there, copy this stuff, and then do what you need to do. If this is what exactly what you need, then fantastic. If it's not, you can tweak it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out some of the other tips and tutorials on our YouTube channel and also at computergaga.com.